Hello Capricorn, welcome to your monthly horoscope. It's your girl Cosmic Jazz 222 and today I am back with a love reading. So this will be focused on love and romance and this will be a timeless reading. Even though I am recording this beginning of July, whenever you end up coming across this video, this message will be dedicated to that timeline you're in. If it's the minute I post it or you happen to come across this video a year from now, whatever the case may be, stay tuned. So if you're just coming across my channel, hi, my name is Jazz. I'm a little psychic here on YouTube and I do a variety of readings. I do tarot card readings, astrological breakdowns, horoscope readings, um, celebrity readings, and I even do commentaries on anything spiritual, religious, or even conspiracy, and anything that's happening up in the stars. Now, just some disclaimers before we begin. This is all a general reading. Not every single thing is going to resonate. Um, but please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and just know you have free will. And be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and any stellums you may have, okay? So, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you for love, okay? Let's see. So, we're going to start off with an oracle card just to get the vibes out. So what does Virgo, I mean, not Virgo, I'm sorry, I just did Virgo's reading. Um, please, I, if I say Virgo, just know I mean you, Capricorn, okay? So what does Capricorn need to know about love? What does Capricorn need to know about love? Hold up, not the deck, like, it's turning all over the place. Okay. What does Capricorn need to know? We have the Great Mother. Surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. And then an over energy is the rose of venus alignment flow right relationship and harmony it's so crazy this card has been coming out for other signs i think it came out for taurus and it was it was an it was like a water sign i forgot was it pisces yeah i think it's pisces so maybe you have those placements or maybe you should look check those videos out but the main card is the great mother surrender to the mystery so capricorn I do feel like love seems a little bit unclear. Doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. Something about your love life or romance is very unclear and surrender is needed. There's some things you can't force. There's some things you can't control. But the best thing you can do is see how things play out. So that might be a little bit you may not want to hear that because i know how you are capricorn you want you want to make sure everything is in order i know how you guys are but whatever this situation is whatever your situation may feel like please surrender and allow things to play out as it should because i'm getting you will be receiving answers pretty soon i don't know what this, these answers mean or what what they're pertaining to but there's some type of answer coming through i'm specifically seeing the full moon in capricorn we are having two one already passed and there's gonna be another one i think happening in july that might be a significant moment for you okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put your card up here answers are coming okay and you don't need to do anything about it okay you're not supposed to be trying to force something to happen it's supposed to happen naturally maybe that is the message here allow things to happen naturally okay so what does capricorn need to know about love okay okay give me a second what does capricorn need to know about love what does Capricorn need to know about love? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. I mean, I just heard fighting an uphill battle. Capricorn, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> There's a reason why you're surrendering. Okay, so some of you guys feel like you're fighting an uphill battle or maybe you feel like you've been always fighting an uphill battle where you're at a disadvantage and that's why you're being called to surrender and not try to force something to happen because if you're forcing something to happen it's not it's not natural it's not genuine okay we have four of cups capricorn okay
What does Capricorn need to know about love? Let's get one more, please. One more card. Okay, that one is to come out. We have the Judgment card. Wow. Now, there was another card that flipped out. I think it wants to come out. So we have the Five of Wands. And then the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. Capricorn, you're in a battle. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're in a battle. Or you're battling some type of person. You're battling an energy. You're battling certain patterns. You're battling trauma. Whatever the case may be, you're tired, Capricorn. You're tired and you're getting frustrated. You're getting pissed off. I'm seeing this. And it's it's almost to a point where it's like, it's not worth it anymore. Like, I might as well be alone. I might as well just keep to myself. Like, it's so not worth it. And Capricorn, I I don't know what you're going through, but I, I keep hearing you're going to receive answers soon. So I'm seeing right now lo the love department is at war. <laughs> and I'm not trying to laugh to laugh at you, but it's like, it, it, you know, when things get so terrible and bad or just inconvenient, all you can do is laugh about it because being angry is just not worth your energy. I'm getting you're at that point, Capricorn. Nine of Wands, you've been fighting an uphill battle. You've been putting in so much effort or you've been trying to allow something to happen with love or with a connection with a person or with yourself. But it just feels like you're putting too much energy for you to not get anything in return and knowing how you are capricorn that doesn't fly that is not a good exchange i'm getting now with the knight of wands i'm seeing anger i'm seeing you've been putting in a lot of work a lot of action but it's turning into anger because like i stated you're not being valued or you haven't been valued and it's kind of like you want to give up and that's what i'm seeing with the four of cups detachment it's like no matter who approaches you no matter who gives you an offer even if you're in a connection no matter what the person says you're just not interested it's like what's the point what's the point of all of this like it doesn't matter and then we have the judgment card but there's a reckoning coming so what i do feel like is happening pretty soon capricorn your perspective on love and romance and connections in general is going to change and that's why you're being called to surrender. I feel like the the very thing that's happening now is your perspectives on love is being challenged. Your understanding of love, of relationships is being challenged. Even to the point where you're questioning yourself and you're questioning your own sanity. Whoever you are at odds with, I do feel like... <clears throat> Let me pull some more cards just to make sure... I'm seeing verbal, verbal conflict, and I'm seeing pettiness, but ultimately there's issues with details. Someone's story isn't adding up. We have the world. I'm gonna be honest, Capricorn, whoever this is, um, I don't think you really wanna move forward with them. I see you actually wanting to disconnect, and that might be the judgment call that it's going to be made because I'm seeing with the world, a cycle has been repeating over and over again. I think it's about time for it to end. You've been in this rodeo for way too long, Capricorn. It's been a waste of time, energy, resources, and it's like you're tired. You're tired of it. And it's like there's nothing this person or the situation can do to really bring you back and make up for everything. I think you're done, Capricorn. So I think when it comes to love, you're done. And I think this ending is needed. Okay, this ending is very much needed for you, Capricorn. Yeah, King of Wands. You're going to make that final decision. I'm seeing... Yeah, I keep seeing you angry. You're just really upset. Now, this could be done with a potential fire sign. I'm seeing Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, Ace of Swords, yeah. And then Capricorn. Yeah, you're, this is the Devil card, but you you roll over this card. I You're about to make a final decision. And this decision, you're not regretting. You're very sure of it. But I think right now, do not make the decision just yet. There's something you need to see first. There's something you need to hear. And then that's when you can make that decision. Page of Wands, yeah, communication. There's, there's a message that needs to come through first before you make any type of move. And you don't have to do anything about it for the meantime. Okay, so... It just feels like 
now again resonate you can take what resonates and apply it to your story but it just feels like you're tired that's the main thing i'm getting i'm gonna pull some oracle cards just to see what exactly is going on but capricorn i'm so sorry you're going through this it just feels tiring it feels like a waste and i'm hearing like was this a waste of time was this a waste of my years mm, okay what does capricorn need to know about love what does Capricorn need to know? We have healing inner child. Yeah, a lot of healing is needed. A lot of healing is actually being encouraged and advised for you, Capricorn. Yeah, rejection, loss, fragmented. There was a rejection. Or you experienced some type of loss. Maybe you're trying to heal any rejection wounds. Or I'm also seeing you rejecting someone or rejecting a situation is going to be healing for you but something is being removed from your life someone is being removed i'm seeing <clears throat> yeah oh wow your ancestors are in the way too your ancestors are playing a role in this and we have spirit guides wow capricorn this feels like divine intervention whoever you're dealing with or whoever you used to deal with yeah they know absolutely not <laughs> they had to be taken out they had to be removed that's what i'm getting strongly like your whole spirit team is all up in this energy like this is crazy what else does capcom need to know mm. So we have attraction hot and mars you see mars martian energy is very battle like it's all about battles all about anger passion taking action and then we have epiphany so you're about to have a major breakthrough or some type of revelation coming through and i did see the judgment card in your reading i'm pretty sure yeah look intervention it's like you're being rescued you're being saved you're dodging a bullet capricorn and then we have structure solid foundation okay and over energy is family. Underlying energy is commitment, long-term relationship. So for some of you, you're ending a long-term relationship. I'm seeing a divorce. So this is just for some of you. This is for some of you. And take this as confirmation. If you are currently going through a separation, this message is for you. If you are not married but you've been in a very long-term relationship and you guys are at the breaking point this message is for you now if you are single or you have been dealing with somebody and you're in the process of separating separating from that past this message is also for you i am seeing you need to remove yourself well actually the person's being removed already but if they're still making advances towards you you need to remove yourself and put a block between you and this individual I don't know what they've done, Capricorn, because I'm not really being shown. And I'm I'm hearing it doesn't matter. Like I like as a reader, it doesn't matter what they did. The point is this needs to end. This has to be put on pause. Well, not pause. It already have. It needs to come to an end. It needs to be completed. And you need to break free up from this. So, Capricorn, when it comes to love, focus your energy on freeing yourself from the situation. You have your guides backing you up. You're highly protected. And they actually are assisting you in trying to form a solid foundation elsewhere. It's kind of like you're being picked up. The foundation, you know, was shaky. And then you're being placed into a different location. And the roots are regrowing in that location. Some of you guys might be actually moving. And that's how you are breaking free from this. But... I'm seeing right now you're going to be receiving a lot of confirmation or in the near future you're going to be receiving messages and confirmation about what's been going on or what you need to hear. Whatever this is, it needs to be heard and it's time for you to move forward, Capricorn. Guilt. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing somebody is guilty. Somebody's guilty. You've been really upset about this. Okay. And I'm seeing like you popping off at this person. And I'm seeing karma and justice and balance. Some of you guys, this is dealing with the courtroom. This is like a legal case. And again, if this is an actual divorce, then yeah, it makes sense. But I'm seeing someone, someone is guilty. 
okay and i think you're going to receive more evidence of this whatever they were doing whatever inkling you're feeling about this person they did do it and you're going to receive confirmation about that we have mental prison this person knows what they did and they are highly they're anxious they're scared for you to find out about this third eye you know about this though you you have an inkling and i think you're just waiting for that evidence yeah whatever this evidence is going to be it's going to be really embarrassing yeah this is part of fate okay it could be done with lust desires yeah there's a message coming okay anything else capricorn needs to know i'm like i know i'm pulling a lot of cards but i think this is what you need to know like there's, there's something here that needs to be revealed anything else is capricorn need to know what else is capricorn need to know detach me yeah detach you're being called to detach from the situation capricorn this is going to happen in the next coming weeks and then we have interlude timing factor so this might take some time capricorn but this is what's coming up and i'm actually what i feel like i need to tell you is prepare you're being encouraged to prepare plan things out plan plan your next steps and make sure this separation or this block that's happening happens smoothly it happens efficiently someone here will try to apologize you are being encouraged to forgive but do not let this person back in okay so i think that is the main message here now for those of you who are wondering well i'm i'm single and you know i'm not really dealing with this I will try to pull some cards for you guys, but it just feels like this video is directed to those who are going through a separation. If it's a marriage, if it's just a long-term relationship, or even like a relationship in general. I just think that's the main message here, like just breaking free. I apologize if it's not resonating. I know this is a very specific message, but um, definitely check out your other signs. Maybe that will help. Okay. Let me see for those, let me just look quickly. For those that are just single and they're not dealing with all of this, <laughs> what do they need to know about love? Access granted, social media, faking profile, hiding. <sighs> wow. Limitation spirit. Yeah. It's like, even if you're single, there's still somebody in your energy, Capricorn. Like, there's somebody that's still, and you're going to find out something. So, oh, okay. So if this isn't, doesn't resonate, yeah, definitely click off. I apologize. Maybe the message isn't for you right now. But some type of truth is going to get revealed about someone and they what they're doing behind your back, how they're watching you from afar. There's a lot of fears also I'm seeing with this. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do next, Capricorn. So think about the person in mind. It could be the person you're currently breaking free from. It could be your partner. It could be um, a crush, your future person, if that's something you're looking for. It could be an ex, a karmic. Whoever is on your heart and you want to know what they want to say to you, zone in on them, focus on them. I'm going to pull some channel messages from them, okay? What does Capricorn need to know from their person? What does their person want to tell them? Person on Capricorn's mind and heart. What does this person want to tell Capricorn? Do you even see me that way? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of questions, a lot of questioning. We have, yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm also hearing I'm not with that. I'm not about that life or something about something along that nature. We have I love because she told me to. So for some of you guys, yeah, you guys were the one that got rejected. But there's there, this person still coming back or linking back to you. And that's why I keep seeing you like removing yourself and saying it does, it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. This connection isn't worth it. Okay, so what does what other messages does this person want to tell Capricorn? I'm too afraid to talk to you. And then we have, I think we should see other people. Oh, yikes. Okay. 
Mm. Okay, okay, Capricorn. So that's what this person wants to tell you. I need more balance. I'm gonna pull from my other deck to see what other messages wants to come through. And I just want to put this into perspective, Capricorn. Your ruling planet, Saturn, is currently retrograde in the sign of Pisces. So if you've been feeling wonky lately, it's because of that. All right. You are too clingy. Wow. Okay. So what else does this person want to tell Capricorn? Person on Capricorn's mind. I'm putting hexes on you. Oh, so that's why you need to... <laughs> that's why you need to break free wow okay someone said you were okay so someone is saying you're clingy or this person is saying you were clingy but yet they're is it because they put hexes on you okay this is just turning weird whoa okay. if it's not hexes it's like evil eye speaking badly on you this is like energy work in general it doesn't have to be like full-blown rituals but if it is it is i'm a jealous person okay yeah that's why you're being called to walk away that's why you're being called to walk away that's why you're detaching i care for you deeply it's so weird though it's like they care about what you do i think they care but it's not to the extent that they're betraying capricorn They don't want you to leave. And I actually feel like they may try to seek help elsewhere. This is so weird. Who is this? I don't want to get back together. But yet they're putting hexes on you. It's, it's so it's like um it's like a contradiction. So someone did left. I feel like spirit led me to you. Okay. What else? Please don't judge me. Wow. Okay. And then lastly, last message. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too many cards. Too many cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cleanse after this because this is crazy. Let's get one more card. I am spying on you. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. I get it now, Capricorn. I get it. They're doing some crazy nonsense behind your back. And we have give me a chance. This person does not want <laughs> they don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. Okay, let me let me just I hope that resonates in some way. For those of you guys who know like this is your story, I hope this brought you some clarity. Now what I want to do finally is send you off with a Oracle card. Just so we can end off the reading on a good note because this was messy. I get it now. I get why you have to leave. Why you're, you know, this person is being blocked off from you. I get it. Okay, what does Capricorn need to know? Final messages. Final messages for Capricorn. Okay, oh. Not the card falling away. Okay, we have this card. And it looks like an angel. So like I stated, your you have your spirit team, your guardian angels with you. They they're watching you happily and they're protecting you from this individual, okay? But the card says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control did I, wasn't this the whole message of your reading and then the card earlier surrender to the mystery so capricorn right now surrender accept how things are i know for some of you guys what has transpired is really hard to believe and you're still processing and you're probably like i can't believe this person would do this to me i can't believe this person would have the audacity to do certain things it's going to take some time for you to accept that i get it it's going to be a little bit of a process but when you end up accepting okay like this is how this person really is it's going to be easier for you to walk away it's going to be easier for you to detach but at this moment surrender you're going to receive more confirmation once you finally get that evidence or that message or that green light you take action and you get 
the heck out of there, okay? Make sure you are finding your peace, finding your happiness, and remember what you want. Remember what you desire and what you wish for and what you're praying. Because what you are going through, what you did go through, it's not it. That's not what you deserve, Capricorn. And you know that. Okay, so with that being said, I hope that resonated. Please put your stories in the comment section. I want to read because this is crazy. So I will, so definitely let me know how this resonated, how this pertains to your story. And I'll see you guys later. I'm sending you guys lots of love and protection. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.